Hey YouTube, what's going on? You might be wondering why I'm not on Whirlwind or why I'm going to look different in about 30 seconds. Um, a little bit of time's progressed. It's been a little over a year. Uh, this video is actually coming from November of 2020. Um, so it's a bit old. Uh, I just want to still throw it up there. I've been having some trouble actually getting it edited and then I just kind of gave up on the video. But I got a lot more free time so I'm going to try to get back on this YouTube thing. Um, we'll see if I can get hopefully a few edits a week. We'll see what I can throw up, but um, for now, yeah, just enjoy this old video, me at a whirlwind, and we'll see you later. What's going on, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we are back at Whirlwind Golf Club. Today, I am playing the other course, the cattail course. So, probably going to be only playing nine, just based on time uh, and sunlight, but we'll see. Also, it's been a little while, and that is my bad. Uh, I do finally have my putter back. I'll be able to show that on the green, but yeah, let's get started. All right, so after that drive, we're about 128 out. So probably gonna take my uh, gap wedge, just uh, hit it three quarter, take off about 10 yards, hopefully land it right by the hole. Uh, it's not really a windy day out. Also, you'll notice I'm wearing pants. It's finally cold enough in this hot desert for pants. Uh, of course, today is one of the hotter days of our cold spree, but um, we're gonna work through it. So we're gonna see I'm honestly hoping to just go bogey free, so that's the goal for this round, and see if we can make it happen. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit on these videos. Um, for this one, I am gonna talk a little bit more about like my swing, what I'm thinking, that kind of stuff. So. Right now, I'm working on using my core, like my abs more, to get my body through because my hands lack behind a little bit, lag behind. Um, so just working on that. On that shot, I just pushed it out a little bit right, a little bit of my hands being behind still. Um, just trying to figure that out, work it out, and uh, yeah, so right now, we're sitting at about 20, 25 feet for birdie. Uh, definitely makeable because these greens aren't super hilly but you can catch some hilly parts luckily though this one is not so let's go see if we can make it so like i said about pin high just right hoping to make this putt it's a little right to left breaker let's see if we can knock her in gotta hit the ball to make it Alrighty, so first hole took the par, uh, you know, should have made that putt, but I just didn't hit the ball. Um, we're good with pars though, tapping pars are definitely something I'll take every hole, but um, next up we got the easiest hole on this course, it's a short par 5, um, and as you can see, uh, well I guess you can't really see, but there's a wash in the middle of this with cart path, it's not dangerous at all, I actually like going through it. Just gonna be aiming just left to where that guy in the red is right now and hope to give us a chance at the green in two and get us an eagle putt. All right, so we're sitting at about 225. Um, if I turn this around real quick, you can see this bunker's right in front of the green on this left. I'm gonna try to kick it off the hill on the left if I have to, but I'm probably just gonna bring it up that little straight right here at that tree and hope it just stays on the green. Um, it's an easy green to chip onto, so if I'm not quite on, should have a good chip to get myself a bird chance. So I was getting ready to hit. I noticed there's a bobcat just chilling in the rough. So, might have to wait for that to clear before I at least walk up. Uh, don't want to die today. Yeah. 
All right, so I did get enough to get it on the green. We were a little short, uh, looking at a pretty long putt, but I've made these kind of putts before, so we'll see if we can make that. All right, so not really my best eagle putt. Uh, we did sink the birdie. I'll take being one under. Uh, just got to work on getting the ball to the hole a little bit. But we'll do that, and then we'll start rolling in some birdies and possibly another eagle. Not another, but you know what I mean. All right, so number three is a nice little par three. Got some water surrounding the front and the left side. Uh, we're sitting at 162 in, so should be taking... Eh, Probably my nine. I don't think there's really anything that's gonna knock it back any, so might be a couple yards short, but we'll land her close, hopefully. All right, so. That one was definitely a little chunky. Uh, I'm looking at it, it's probably about eight, 10 yards short. So not really close birdie putt, but again, doesn't look like really have many hills in the way. So we do have a birdie opportunity here and uh, let's see if we can roll in a little closer than we have them. Well, we have some uh, lovely background noise for this one. Got a little water pump over here, doing something with the lake. Maybe trying to get the smell out, because it smells awful. But um, hole four, turn this around. Hole four is uh, the longest, uh, maybe not the longest, but the hardest part four. Got to get up and over this hill, and there's sand and a pretty tough green. So we're just gonna hope to get it close. Might have to put some music or just totally tear out this audio, but uh, yeah. So like I said, from the tee box, there is a bunker up here. It's a tough green, but luckily we're in the best pin placement we could have when it gets behind that hill. It's a little funnel that takes you off the green and then long is tough to stay on, but it's in the good spot. So 149, just a little pitching wedge, knock it close. All right, so ended up hitting this one just a little bit long. Um, got about 12 foot or maybe 15. A um, little right to left breaker, so honestly, this one is definitely makeable, but after seeing what I've been doing today, who knows? Yeah, I'm spending some time on the putting green after this round. Um, just not rolling them the way I want to right now. Uh, gosh, that was such an easy putt. I had the line and then I just, I can't make a good putt. So, uh, <sighs> next hole, really short par four. Uh, it's actually only 337 from the back of the tips. Uh, they're playing about the middle, so a little over 320. Um, I'm just gonna take a three wood uh, if I turn it around real quick. You can see there is some water and some sand. Um, taking my thread pretty much right at that guy in the red, just 
nice spot to be in. And then I come over a little bit, can see the flag, it's on the back left. So being close to that bunker won't be any issue. Um, yeah, we're just gonna let it rip. That one there, um, yet again, a little slow with my hands, just kind of pushing it out, getting it up in the air a little too much. Um, we'll dial it in though. Uh, looks like I'm probably gonna have close to 120 just because it was so far right. Well, we'll see when I walk up there. Um, you know, I'm not too disappointed with how I'm playing because obviously no bogeys yet. Um, hitting greens, just gotta get my putting working a little better and then just dial it in my, with my swing and I'll be shooting for the pros now. Uh, it's the dream, but one step at a time. Let's see if we can shoot a couple under. All right, don't even ask me where 120 came from. I am uh, 85 out. I'm gonna take a nice little lob wedge, probably uh, nine to, what is it, three to nine. Uh, it's a term my swing coach uses, but yeah, nice little 80 yard shot. Shouldn't get her nice and tight. You know, pretty good shot. Uh, Probably eight feet is what it looks like from back here, but knowing me, it's probably closer to 10. Uh, it did get a little zip on it, actually. I was surprised, but uh, should have a good look at Birdie. second ball first last part three of the front nine also possibly the last hole of this part depending on if i get all 18 or not um sitting at about 176 so i'm gonna take my seven iron just choke up a little bit on it take a few yards off and hope it lands soft and knock her close talking about uh, dialing in the swing, and I definitely did on that one. Uh, choked up on a 7-iron, which usually causes about a 175 carry, and it usually doesn't spin or roll out much. It has just a lot of spin. I landed about 10 yards long and a little right. I just lost it in the air, and I thought it I was going to land right by the hole, and I never saw it, so uh, not quite that lucky. Not going to get a hole in one on camera yet, uh, but we'll see what we can do with this. I don't know if I'm going to have to chip or putt yet. Gonna have to get up there first, but uh, yeah, should be fairly good luck at least. Just look back at the uh, last hole's footage and I noticed uh, my second shot did just barely roll out of frame. Uh, it was about a six footer, uh, it really wasn't much. And just a nice right to left breaker, broke about half an inch. Easy par, obviously you can see it rolling, so you know it made it, but um, yeah, just wanted to clarify, it was just barely out of frame and I apologize for it not being in frame. Cause this thing decided to pop off. I'm stupid.
just got a lot more interesting. Uh, this just snapped off while I was walking. So, <sighs> gonna be interesting.